Rough morning, folks. Yours truly suffering reverse peristalsis, but more importantly, so is everyone else in the house. Quick update here only today, and our weekly podcast will have to be delayed as well. This quick update starts with yesterday's incoming active region. If you have our app, you got the increased eruptive activity alert yesterday, and you might even be able to see a small CME as plasma jumps off the active area in this looping helium return. Quick look at sunspots reveals a nearly total lack of complexity, but an enormous expanse under the influence of the local fields. That's what's driving the eruptive behavior, and we'll need eyes open there today. Top news with the ground was an LVZ ceiling blood echo in Central America that was followed by the eruption of the Fuego volcano in Guatemala. It was brief and more aesthetic than dangerous. Top weather alert the next day is for Yemen. Landfall is imminent, and that is going to be a critical threat to life there. I'm going to include the top news links below the video that I would have shared if today was a full program, including this one on atmospheric waves, but the top story among them was going to be how it was hotter and more wild weather-wise during the previous interglacial compared to the current one. Again, the links are below, eyes on the sun. Please wish us all a speedy recovery here, and I'll be back as soon as possible. Be safe, everyone.